Foxes. Foxes are the referee. Obey my command at all times. You both the rules, watch them heads, keep the punches up. When I shout break, you break clean. And remember, defend yourselves at all times. Touch them up. What sort of evolution are we going to see from Yudi Gang and Uncle Pizza from their first controversial fight? Look for body shots from Uncle Pizza. He loves going there. Yudi Gang seems to be a little more well-rounded, but let's find out. Three rounds and Pizza already going to the jaw there, Riley. Well, and then back to the body. <laughs> Good range control from both these guys right at the start. Something that Yudi Gang's got to do here in this fight is kind of put a stamp on rounds a bit better. I think that he gets too comfortable with the decision fighting, and I want to see him really start to sit down on his punches a bit more and try to be a bit more convincing with it. The thing that impressed me about Yudi Gang in his first fight was the timing. He's, he's quite good at timing Uncle Pizza as he's on the way in, and uh, that could be a key to him winning this fight. Our first three undercard bouts all ended in knockout. We've got five here on our main card. Let's see if we can continue the KO streak. Something you can see immediately from both of these guys is good composure in the ring, right? These guys look like they've boxed 100 times at this point when they're both just getting started. Yeah. Well, the first time is always special. <laughs> Do you remember your first time, True Jordy? <laughs> it was painful, man. But, uh, are we still talking about fighting? I don't know. <laughs> Good one-two yes. from Uncle Pizza there, ripped down the middle, but answered with a nice jab. Yet again, does a great job at rolling with Ooh, most of the punches. Yet again, even when he gets hit, he seems to be kind of rolling with it a little bit. He doesn't get hit super clean. Mm. Nice, nice jab hook there. Yep. He's got his timing. I mean, these, been, these guys don't look like a sideshow. These guys look legit right now. Good skills, they're evenly matched. This is how the first fight was too. It was a really, really close back and forth fight. Technically, they've definitely cleaned it up for sure. Pizza's still been sneaking in some good body shots though. Good parry on the jab there from Pizza. Wonder if he's gonna come out with the anchovies on his shorts one day. <laughs> I mean, pepperoni's just so so bland, right? I mean, let's mix it up. Go Hawaiian possibly. Every KO, he has to add a new condiment. Yeah. <laughs> Topping. I think a condiment would be ketchup or mustard, wouldn't it? <laughs> hey, ask Uncle Pizza. He's the pizza guy, yeah, right? Yeah. Don't ask me. I, I do like the ranch box. with my pizza. I'm from Alabama. That's a big thing there. Beauty Gain trying to catch Ooh, him again with the left hook. Not the head butt with a job there. Both guys are looking pretty defensively responsible here. There's a nice right. Beauty Gain sneaking in a few, a few shots. 30 seconds left in the first. I think Yuri Gang's landed the more defining shots here. I'd agree with you. His job especially has been kind of snapping the head back yep. on Uncle Pizza a little bit. The thing you notice about Yuri Gang is his eyes are wide open looking for those opportunities. He's, he's like you say, for a new guy, he is definitely picking it up quickly. And the thing that's great about a fight like this is these guys got cardio for days. Oh yeah. They should be able to go all, all whole way, no problem. Well, it is a four rounder. All the fights on tonight's main card are at least four or five rounds. Here at York Hall in London, England. Round one of this four rounder. Our opening bout Uncle Pizza and Yudi Gang. Close first round. I, I edge that one to Yudi Gang. What do you think? Yeah, million percent, mate. I think he's he's timing him really well here. Close, though. He didn't put a stamp on it. You know how judging is in black. Oh, nice right one, hand. Another yeah. one. It's that backhand. Good trade, but. Pizza did a good job there at getting, getting back right at the end. He landed a good body shot. These are lightweights, 135 pound maximum. That 
full right hand has been sneaky for Yeti Gang so far. Also that check left hook. I'd love to see him go to the body a little bit. They're starting to open up now. No, look at the grab and bang there from Yudi Gang. The old uppercut. It's been a busy week here in London. X Series, obviously, tonight. We had the Tyson Fury Usyk press conference yesterday, the day before that, the massive December 23rd press conference in London. Boxing is buzzing here in the UK. Yudi Gang really getting the better of these exchanges right now. He's kind of found his range really in tight in the clinch, landing sneaky uppercuts, and he's finding the timing of Uncle Pito a little bit. You can see those adjustments he made from the tag team match. We've seen improvement, and it's it's really showing now. That right hand scored again for Yudi Gang. He's really starting to put his imprint in this round. Starting to go first a little bit. He's kind of found the timing there, and now he's starting to go first, bringing the shots out of Uncle Pizza. Stings him with a the jab there, stops him in his tracks. Uncle Pizza needs to step on it here. He, he's, he's sort of fading a little bit. One of those shots might have stung him, right? He might be just putting on a decent poker face right now. Mm -hmm. Yeti Gang just looks so calm. Yep. It looks like he's ordering potentially a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now his crust is being burnt by Yudi Gang. You know, having that long hair, I think, can actually hurt you with the judges. I mean, you just land a shot and that hair flies backwards. That's why professional wrestlers have long hair. It just makes the impact look yeah. so much worse than it is sometimes. Yeah. Even when you're pulling back and you don't get hit, it looks like you got hit. If you're more of a Stone Cold Steve Austin guy there, True Jordy, I don't think you'd have to oh, worry man. about the hair. Me and Stone Cold, for sure, I'm on that. 25 seconds to go here in round two. Still waiting for a big impact shot from either one of these guys. Uncle Pizza really, really not putting it on this round, though. This is definitely Yeti Gang's round, very much so. Nice right to end the round from Yeti Gang. KSI in the building. We are back and so is KSI. He's back in the house here for X Series 11. Jordy, how do you think he's done three. with the uh, X Series since the beginning days? You were there at X Series one, weren't you? It's staggering me, and I was I was in this building when he was in a press conference with Joe Weller. That shows how far this has all came. It's fantastic to be back. Let's see oh, if Uncle combination from Yudigang can get back in this one. Yudi Gang starting to run away from it. Close first round, but we still gave it to him. Second round, really not so close. I got a 2-0 for Yudi Gang going into the third here. It just looks like he's getting his timing and getting more comfortable in there. And if I'm not mistaken, Yudi Gang has actually got two defeats so far, so this would be his first win if he can keep, keep this going. But that, that's one of those things where the, the record doesn't show what was really happening. He was very much so in all of those fights, really made a good name for himself in each one of those fights. So it'd be nice for him to get that dub. Well, it's nice to see Uncle Pizza expanding his horizons. That first fight, he was just going to the, the body as much as he could. But now he's going upstairs and downstairs, but he just doesn't seem to be active enough. Doing good there in the clinch, landed a couple good shots in tight. He's certainly not out of this fight, right? We're only in the third round. There he is again, that pull right hand can't miss for yet again. Good head movement from Yeti. Uncle Pizza need to start. He, he needs to start throwing some hooks. He needs to start looping his shots a little bit more, which is usually not something you hear. But Yeti Gang has made the read of the straight shots. He's reading it really, really well. Yep. He knows when it's coming. He's 
getting off the center line. So sometimes when you start looping a little bit, you mix up the angle of attack. It can throw off that timing. He's also not fainting, you know, just, just giving him something to distract them before he does throw. A uh, little bit too predictable. By the way, True Jury, how did I not run into you when we were in Newcastle? I ate at Shearer's in the stadium, the whole thing. I bought the T-shirt, the jersey. Where were you? Oh, man, I, I, I was sitting on my throne up there. You wouldn't have seen me. I'm in a big castle. <laughs> I'm, I'm the king of that town, man. Nice from pizza, uh, the pizza there. It was not too bad. Trying to work his way back into this fight. Oh, that could have been right hand. That could have been something. Set it up, but didn't quite execute it. Both guys, as you mentioned earlier, Riley, seem to be in really good shape. Pizza looking over at his corner. Coach Ivan barking some instructions. Nice left there from Pizza. Yeah, the game just looks so smooth with the uh, I think he's got potential, this guy. Like, for, for this to be his third fight, is pretty good, like. I hate to say it, but I've been saying mm. <laughs> If only people would listen to you, you know? <laughs> oh, big uppercut on the inside from Yudi Gang as Pizza's holding on. I think Pizza's done the right thing and trying to make this a bit more of a scrap and less of a boxing match, but I don't think he would. One more round. Conlon versus Gill, Saturday, September 2nd on DAZN. That's the first of a huge fight night on DAZN. Later for the United States, Ryan Garcia, Oscar Duarte. December 2nd on DAZN. I'm feeling the way the corner just delivered those instructions. That's what I want to hear from a corner, especially well, for an influencer boxing match. This bout, once again, something of a cook-off. Most of Beauty Gang TV's content focused around food and eating challenges, and of course, Uncle Pizza is a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going for a slice now. <laughs> Jordy, and that, that's what his corner was saying. They were saying, bite down, oh, go wow. out there. You're an entertainer. That's exactly what we want to hear. Riley, do you think maybe Uncle Pizza nicked that third round? Or? It was close. It was yeah. close. And you could make an argument for it. And that's what I was saying is sometimes Yeti Gang, he doesn't really sit down and, you know, really put a statement on these rounds. And that, you know, just adds for area of debate when I think he could have done a bit more that round, right? He needs to use his legs. I still have him for it. He, he needs to use, get on his bike a bit and turn this back into a boxing match because that's where he was shining. Well, this is a scrap, it, it's, it's, it's muddy, it's dirty, and he, he, he can't be seen to be the cleaner boxer, which is what he really is, in my opinion. There you go. Especially because Pizza kind of puts, brings the clinch, which kind of sometimes makes it look like you're winning that clinch exchange. Yeah. yeah. Just really depends on the judging. You know, I still give the third round to Yeti, but definitely a close round. Nice Pizza leaping left. left from Uncle Pizza. You know, he's getting a bit tired, Yuri, and that's what it is. Uncle Pizza's shown great durability this fight, too. He really hasn't shied away from any of the shots that Yeti Gang's hit with. I've got to give credit to uh, Uncle Pizza. He's actually made an adjustment here. He's gone, right, I'm not beating you in the boxing match, so I'm just going to come straight ahead and try and rough you up. Uncle Pizza can box. There's no two ways about it. He knows how to fight. Mm. Uncle Pizza's trunks remind me a little bit of Dusty Rhodes. Remember when he won for the polka dot trunks? Anybody? <laughs> Remember, am I too old? This is before my time, oh mate, my unfortunately. God. I'm sorry. Well, I'm 47. Hey, you might be a misfit uh, ring tonight, uh, considering Rhino was 54. That's true. It's putting me to shame, man. Uncle Pizza giving everything he's got. Damn, this man wants it. You know, this, a draw isn't out of the question with a four-rounder. Yeti Gang still doing well in these exchanges, good though. Movement. He's landing good shots. 
It's hard to score points when you're clinching. A lot of referees, sorry, a lot of judges won't really consider those shots. And the cleaner outside shots this round still have certainly been from Yeti Gang TV. Remember, a lot of people thought Yeti Gang won the first fight. Are we going to have something similar here with another close controversial decision? Come on, referee. Deep breath from Yeti Gang once more into the breach, my friend. They open it up now. Down to the body goes Uncle Pizza. One last uppercut from UD Gay, and we'll go to the judges' scorecards. What do you think, True Jordy? I mean, the, the cleaner shots, the, the better shots were thrown by Yuri Gunn. But I do give credit for Uncle Pizza for fighting away back into that fight because it looked like it was slipping away from him. And in that third round, he bit down on the gum shield and came straight ahead and made it a rough fight. Like you were saying, he made the adjustments, right? And that's really hard to do in a four-round fight. Obviously, you come in with a game plan. Having to change that game plan halfway through a very short fight can be difficult. But I don't think, personally, that it was enough against a game yeah. Yeti Gang tonight. Just, we've just seen so much uh, more superior punches thrown by Yuri Gang. And he, he looked the cleaner box out than me. I'd, I'd be the, if I'm a judge, I'm rewarding that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, next weekend we go from England to Ireland here on DAZN as they are running it back. One of the most highly anticipated rematch in recent times. Saturday, November 25th, as Chantel Cameron and Katie Taylor go head to head once more in Dublin. Can't wait for that one. Yudi Gang all smiles. He thinks he's done enough. Be part of our DAZN watch party. Vote on your winner. I think it's a draw. 2-2. Two -two. Could be. Could be. Neither man seems despondent. They all both seem happy. Like, hey, I did it. I've noticed it takes longer to count judges' cards here in the United Kingdom. Are you guys a little slower at no. math than us Americans? I ain't got a clue, man. I mean, uh, we all. Tr this is the good thing about Misfits. They're bringing in a new uh, scoring situation where we're going to be able to see a lot more, hopefully, from the fans' point of view and the corners. So I think Misfits could revolutionize the way we see boxing scored. Well, I love the instant replay idea. You know, in America, some cities have it, some don't. Yeah. It's very confusing to have a uniform system here on X-Series mm. with replays. It'd be great. I think, we, I mean, it can't get any worse than what it is right now, right? So. <laughs> well, let's see what this decision is. How about that? <laughs> let's give him one more chance. And there's the QR code on your screen. Scan to join the DAZN Watch Party now. All right. Looks like we might have the decision. Here's Huss. Late, ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Gareth Morris scores the bout 39-37 to Uncle Pizza. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Hines <laughs> scores the bout 39-38 to, to Yuddy Gang. <laughs> Judge Lee Murtaugh scores the bout 39-37. And your winner by split decision, Yadi Gang! Well, True Jordy, I see you took a deep breath there. You were about to blow your surprised. gasket, weren't you? I, I, I could see a draw, but to score it for Uncle Pizza was very surprising for me, but one of the judges.